experiences. One hour, and in the end, you will hear some final remarks by the President. Hello, my name is Tal Tibral. It didn't matter if my friends were Serbian, Bosnians, or The next two months, we would spend in home confinement, not able to go outside. Adults whispered amongst themselves, and I could not make sense of what was going on. They were collaborating how to live with us. In a matter of days, storms came, and one of them found me as his target and pointed a gun at me. So close, I could almost feel And we were forced to load a van that was already full of other Serbs who were our neighbors. Pointless, the adults around me were as scared as I was. We were taken to a school, see through it, in one boiled day, and that was to be shared among three people. The only thing I could realize at that age was from what my grandmother said how they had to hide. And by some miracle, she survived. Now I was experienced the exact same thing. I find out through my uncle, who was in a concentration camp, because my father and all the other they would beat them with batons and step on them with their army boots. And they would use hot plates. There was no mercy. And they would just be dragged, and they would just the rest of them would just have to watch the whole day. They also used to cut cross. I remember one day, so in the village where we lived, even though we knew friends, and one day when I was walking, so he couldn't catch up with me, and I managed to run away. I went. And somehow when we reached the open forage, we took us in, sent places and homes. And I laid at night and I didn't hear it. The only thing I learned through all that is this was not normal. But I still have nightmares about what I went through. We need to do better.